it's Saturday the 17th of January 2015. This is a chart of Regis Resources, a gold stock on the ASX. Um, I did a chart update about two weeks ago on this one, um, saying that if it broke out of this this double t this uh, double bottom pattern here and broke above the neckline, you'd be looking at sort of a re you know that the theory is you'd be looking at a repeat of this range here, which would take us to this 250 level ish. Um, now, since then, there's been a production update um, that was on last Friday, so the 9th of January. Um, and the production update was pretty um, weak, I guess, really. There wasn't any anything standing out there um, compared to the previous quarter where the um, figures were looking. There was a, a, a quite a drastic improvement in production at um, a couple of the mines. Um, those figures hadn't, hadn't um, continued into this latest quarter. Um, so I think uh, they, they're still having quite a few grade and recovery issues at Garden Well, um, which they're looking to overcome. But Moolat Well fell, uh, production fell by six or 7,000 ounces, I think. So that um, the combination of both those and, and the Rosemont was roughly, uh, roughly similar. So you can see that on that day, it sort of it went up on um, before people started to sort of really recognize the news and then when uh, I think a lot of the brokers came back on um, on Monday they sort of uh, computed it and decided it was not that great and uh, put a big sell on it so um, that was this big big long candle here and this long wick so that's a fairly bearish um, candle and then you've seen it you know gold, keep in mind that the rest of the gold stocks were up 15 to 20 percent this week um, and Regis was down 2%. So that's a pretty poor performance um, relative to the other gold stocks. You know, we, we're at this this high volume point again as well. So that's this that's a very, very strong resistance level, this gap down. Um, and I think, did we, I think we may have filled that gap as well. Yeah, so it filled that gap there and then it's, it's fallen back down. And, uh, you know, once again on Friday, this Friday, there was a, a lot of selling pressure again, even with the gold price going up 30, 30 US dollars. So even though the gold price is um, outperforming at the moment, Regis is not looking that great. Um, I actually sold a few last week because I, when I read the when I read the uh, quarterly figures, um, they haven't come back with the costs for the quarter. But um, when they released the full quarterly, you'd expect the costs to be up quite a lot from where they were last quarter, just because um, production was down um, and there was uh, quite a few so I'm, I'm expecting maybe a hundred dollars up in the in the um, all-in costs which makes their their margins not look that attractive compared to some of the other uh, gold companies so yeah it's even though I've put this target in here longer term they really need a bit of a catalyst and I don't see it for the next three to six months where they're still getting through these grade issues and um, and still repaying some of their debts and building up the cash balance and looking at paying dividends again.